my dear brothers and sisters, one important reminder that the parable of Jesus in our gospel this Sunday tells us is that there are moments in our life when we must have the courage to take risks. That is the difference of the first two servants who invested the money entrusted to them by their master from the third servant who did nothing with the money but just hid it underground. The two servants took the risk, but the third servant played safe. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, there are people who always just play safe. They are not willing to take risks. They are satisfied with the status quo. They just keep themselves in their comfort zones. And sometimes they tend to be mediocre. Okay na yan. At least ito, payapa. Ganito na lang, kinasanayan na. But there are people who are willing to take risks, who are willing to venture on new things, who are open to changes. And taking risks is very much part of our life. The truth is we cannot ab avoid taking risks. If you want to profit, kung gusto mong tumubo ang iyong pera, you have to invest. And investing is a lot of risk. If you want to be successful, then you have to try. And trying they involves a lot of risk. If you want to discover new things, then you must not be afraid to try many things and even commit mistakes because that is the only way to discover new things. People who succeeded in life did not play safe. They were always willing to take risks. And even love. If we want to love, then we must be willing to take risks. Interestingly, our first reading today from the book of Proverbs talks about choosing a wife. And it tells us that when one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Pag nakapili ka, ng mabuting asawa higit pa yan sa pagtama sa uh, pag pagkapanalo sa isang paligsahan o manalo ng malaking premyo you know, even marriage is a risk committing yourself involves a lot of risk and if you do not want to take the risk, then do not commit yourself because to love is to risk yourself. Living entails a lot of risks. And even our Christian life involves a lot of risks. Someone said that faith, faith is our willingness to risk anything on God. In our second reading today, St. Paul reminds us that we are not children of darkness and of night. We are children of the light. And so let us not sleep. Let us not be mediocre as the others do. But let us stay alert and sober. Let us be willing to face the realities of life even when there are risks involved. My dear brothers and sisters, if we want to truly live and we want to truly love, then be willing to take risks. There's a saying, if you want to win, you got to play. Someone also said, 
you cannot discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. And in the parable of Jesus, the two servants were courageous enough to take risks and invest the money entrusted to them because the master himself was the very first one to take the risk. And what was the risk taken by the master? He entrusted his money to his servants. Don't you find that unusual? You trust your money to a bank. You trust your, entrust your money to financial managers. You entrust your money to your family. Minsan nga ayaw pa natin ipagkatiwala yung pera natin sa pamilya natin. But to servants, this master must have great trust in his servants for him to leave his money to them. At dahil nagtaya yung may-ari sa kanyang mga alagad, kaya yung dalawang alagad, nagtaya din because they were trusted by their master, then they will do good with what was entrusted to them. This is an image of God who also takes risks. Ang Diyos natin nagtataya. By blessing us with many graces, with many blessings, the Lord is taking a lot of risk the risk that we might end up like that third servant. Yung mga biyaya na ipinagkaloob sa atin ng Panginoon, dahil nagtitiwala siya sa atin, pagtatayayan ng Diyos. Kasi posibleng tumubo siya sa ipinagkatiwala niya sa atin, pero posible rin namang malugi siya sa ipinagkatiwala niya sa atin. His trust is a risk. And trusting is, al is always a risk. And so when God trusts us with so many blessings in this life, God is taking the risk. And God is hoping that like the two servants in the parable, the gifts, the blessings will multiply. Ano kaya ang nararamdaman ng Diyos sa mga pinagkatiwalaan niya ng kayamanan sa mundong ito Binigyan niya ng maraming pera at ari-arian. Pero yung pinagkatiwalang yun, sinarili lang. Hindi tumulong sa kapwa. Hindi ibinahagi sa iba. Ano kaya ang nararamdaman ng Diyos sa mga pinagkatiwalaan ng kapangyarihan sa mundong ito para maglingkod sa ibang tao? Pero ginamit yung kapangyarihan para sa sariling interes lang. Ano kaya ang nararamdaman ng Diyos sa mga pinagkatiwalaan ng talino at galing? Pero ginamit yung talino at galing para man lamang at man loko ng kapwa. Ano kaya ang nararamdaman ng Diyos sa atin na pinagkatiwalaan niya ng buhay na sa bawat umaga na gumigising tayo parang sinasabi ng Diyos sa atin, pinagkakatiwalaan kita ng buhay. Pero sinasayang natin ang ating buhay sa mga wala namang saysay na bagay. My dear brothers and sisters, God trusts us. God loves us. That is why He is always willing to take risks for us. Last Monday and Tuesday, we had our alumni homecoming at San Carlos Seminary. Once a year po, nagkakaroon kami ng homecoming ng lahat ng mga nag-aral, naging pari man o hindi naging pari sa San Carlos Seminary. And it was uh, always a blessing to be with my classmates. All of my classmates are in the provinces. Malayo po kami sa isa't isa. At halos taon-taon lang tuwing homecoming kami nagkakasama-sama ulit. It is also a blessing to be with contemporaries in the seminary. Dati pare-pareho kami mga seminarista, mga totoy na seminarista, ngayon matatanda na. 
At sa mga kwentuhan namin, sabi nga namin, matanda na tayo kasi pinagkukwentuhan namin ano na yung sakit, ano na yung gamot na iniinom. No? Pag ganyan na daw pinag-uusapan, tumatanda na. But I was, I was struck by the stories about our own ministries. Sabi nung isa kong kaklase, sabi niya, ilang barangay ang sakot ng parish mo? Sabi nung isa kong kaklase, 24 barangays. Sabi niya, ako 33. Tapos sabi nila, oh nga yung iba, you have really to walk for three hours just to reach that barangay. Yung isa sabi niya, gadaan pa ako sa ilog para marating yung barangay. Sabi nung isa, uh, sasakyan ko, sasakyan ko for one hour and then at a certain point, hindi na pwedeng akyatin ng sasakyan. I have to walk for five hours just to reach that barangay. At minsan yung mga bundok na inaakyat nila, communist infested pa. Very risky, very risky. Nakikinig ako sa kanila kasi nare-realize ko kung gaano kahirap yung buhay nila. At sasabihin nila ay kung hindi naman pupuntahan, hindi sila mamimisahan, hindi mabibinyagan. Paminsan-minsan nga lang mapuntahan, kung hindi pa pupuntahan, kawawa naman sila. So we have to take the risk of going there. Wala akong makwento. Kasi ang kukwento ko lang, ilang mall ang nilakad ko papunta sa kabilang chapel. Ilang elevator ang inakyat ko, ilang escalator ang inakyat ko. Sabi ko, mas masarap pa ang buhay ko. Kawawa naman ang mga kaklasi ko. But I was struck by the kind of life that they have now. They, were all, they are always willing to take the risk, almost every week, just to visit a barangay. Because they have to be there. The priest has to be there. They have to. They have to take the risk because they want to bring God to these people. My dear brothers and sisters, do not think that when I talk of taking risks, it is about being adventurous or about being care carefree. Parang sige lang, no, lahat na lang ng risk suguri natin. No, no. That is not what we mean. Because taking risks that could harm others or ourselves is irresponsibility and you do not take that kind, those kinds of risks. Taking risks from the Christian perspective is following Jesus who did a lot of good, who served, who loved until the very end, who risked his life for us. That is the kind of risk, taking risk, that we should follow. If the risk will involve doing something good for others, if the risk involves doing a form of service to other people, if the risk involves service and love, then be always willing to take those risks. Because when we take those risks, we become good and faithful servants of the Master.